Hi everyone, it's Rob, and I wanted to take a dive into what's available in the cash shop for players upon release of Diablo 4, which I find very interesting, in large part because of such the hefty box fee that the game has was $70. It has a game pass, it has upgrades, and it's got a lot of stuff it wants to sell you that you can't just earn in the game naturally. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. First, let's break down what first let's break down what the actual cost of stuff is that we're looking at, right? So everything in here is gonna be purchased with platinum. And so 200 platinum is two bucks. 500 platinum is five bucks, 1,000, 10 bucks. Once you start to get into the $25 range is when you start getting bonus platinum. So let's, as we look through this, we will just go ahead and consider a platinum to be a penny. We'll disregard the bonus platinum you earn if you buy like $100 where you'll get 1,500 platinum. We're just gonna go ahead and say that $2 is 200 platinum, so every platinum is a penny in US dollars. The first thing you have available outside of just the regular cosmetics is there is a there's a package, an add-on. It's the Crypt Hunter, and this is available for $7. This contains the Lyoth, Ice Howl, Mount, Beginner's End, the Protean Axe, and 800 platinum. So you are essentially getting bonus platinum, an axe, a weapon skin, and some mount armor at a pretty solid deal here, right? But let's keep this in mind. So there's $7 right here for sale in the cash shop. Now let's go over here to the cosmetics tab and take a look at some of these kits that come. So we have the Wraith Lord. So this is 2,800 platinum. We have the Death Toll, which is 2,400 platinum. Ill-Gotten Gains, which is an accessory packet, and that's for 1,000 platinum. We have the Weight of Gold, Prestige Mount, and Mount Armor, that's 1,600. And then we have the Thaumaturge Armor Set, which is 1,800. The Thorns of Penitence for 2,200. Atonement Measures Accessory for 800. Raised by Wolves for 2,500. And for Barbarian, we have the Lion's Share for 800. The Lion of Ariat Equipment for 2,200. The Totem of Ursus for 1400 For Druid, we have Heir to the Sea for 2600 Watcher in the Wilds Armor Cosmetics for 1700 The Sunken Treasuries Accessory Pack for 900 and For Necromancer, we have the Desert Datura Armor Set for 1500 We have the Death Throws Wraith Lord Accessories for 800 Death and Hawizer Armor for 1400 and For the Rogue, we have the Blight Warden for 1300 We have Tools of the Hunt Accessories for 1000 and then we have Dress to Kill Armor Cosmetics for 1300 And if you notice for Tools of the Hunt, it shows you that there are accessories here for the Raised by Wolves pack. And if you go up to the Raised by Wolves pack and take a look at that, it doesn't already include these accessories. So if you bought this Prestige Equipment Cosmetic pack for 2500 Platinum Points, you would notice that you really didn't get all of that set. So you still have to come down here and purchase for another thousand the accessories. So it's $35 for this entire cosmetic kit for the Raised by Wolf set. For the Sorcerer, we have Fractured Magic Equipment, 2,500. Sorceric Binding for 800. Magic of the Sands Armor Cosmetics for 1,200. And then we have these mounts. We have four mounts. They're not all the same price. We have the Blood Fiend Advent, which is Mount Armor for 1,000. We have Brackish Fetch Mount Armor for 800. Death's Burden Mount Armor for 800. And then we have the Threefold Nightmare, which is a mount, and that is for 1500. That is 41,300 platinum points you would need to buy everything that is currently in the cosmetic shop to include the add ons. So, in order for you to get that, you're looking at about $400 worth of items in the cash shop upon release, which I think is a little bit predacious. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this game. I think it's great, but I'm absolutely flabbergasted by the amount of cosmetics that they already have in here, the price of them, and we haven't even seen a battle pest yet. I really hope that we don't get a blizzard that is gonna spend the majority of their time cranking out cosmetics, but instead they're gonna work to put 
the best effort they can into creating content for this game, especially if they expect us to be dropping money on quarterly battle passes, in addition to the millions of dollars they're going to rake in on the sale of platinum coins. I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed this video or found value from it, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you see all of my Diablo 4 content. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.